This lesson brings us to the end of the pre-flight checklist, the last item, the I'm safe check. This acronym is a brief introduction to the human factors of aviation and it's promoted by Transport Canada as a checklist for pilots to go through before each flight to make sure that they're physically and mentally prepared. As you may already have experienced, flight training can be, at times, a very stressful environment to learn in. You want to make sure that you're getting the most out of the time and money that you're investing into your licenses. So just like we check the condition of the weather and our aircraft, it's also important to make sure that you yourself are in good condition. So like your yoga instructor would say, let's take a moment, check in with yourself and see how you're feeling today. First in the I'm safe acronym is the I, which stands for illness. Do I have any symptoms that may restrict my performance, fever, sore throat or ears, etc. Along with the nagging symptoms of a cold or flu that can affect our ability to learn, it's also good to keep in mind that the pressure changes during descents can be quite painful, especially if your sinuses are blocked up. Next is M, which stands for medication. Am I cleared by a physician to take prescription or over-the-counter drugs? Aspirin, cold tablets, cough medicine, etc. You want to get permission from your aviation medical examiner to make sure you're cleared to fly while taking any medication. Next is S for stress. Is my judgment impaired by emotional or other problems? Family, friends, or pressure to complete this flight? Probably nobody will put more pressure on you than yourself, so just keep in mind that it's okay to cancel a flight and do a simulator session or a ground lesson instead. Your instructor will understand if you show up for the lesson, ready to go flying, but you have a valid reason for not flying that day. Like I said at the beginning, flight training itself can be very stressful at times. So if there are other stresses in your life, you want to be aware of them before going flying because they can significantly decrease your performance or even your willingness to receive feedback from your instructor. A is for alcohol. Am I feeling any hangover effects? So legally, a minimum of 8 hours has to have passed since your last drink, or 8 hours bottle to throttle as the saying goes. But you also have to have a blood alcohol level of zero and you cannot be feeling the effects of alcohol, which technically means no hangover. Next is F for fatigue. Am I rested and unhurried? Keep in mind that fatigue can significantly reduce your performance in the cockpit. And last is E, which is for eating. Have I eaten properly in the past four to six hours, not just coffee? This is also a very important human factor, which is easy to overlook. Early on in your training, it's not uncommon to feel a little nauseous during the flight, especially when you get to the spin and spiral dive training. For most people, I think this goes away once they start flying on a regular basis. But making sure that you've eaten a solid meal a few hours before you go flying will help a lot. You now know what I'm safe stands for and the importance of mentally reviewing these six items prior to every flight to make sure you're physically, mentally, and emotionally prepared. That completes the last item of our pre-flight preparation. And so based on these five factors that we looked into, we can now make our go or no go decision for the day.